there we go we've got a switch that is powered by a motor hi guys welcome back to the channel today we are taking a look at um, train automation again and we're using this little guy this is a motor that you can also connect to the powered up hub that you can control with bluetooth now last video we already used the train motors and the color sensors and today we are adding this one into the mix so my plan is to use the motor to control some switches on our tracks now there's been a lot of videos already on how to power your switches and i found that the ones that uh, almighty Aryan did are the most useful for me in this case in his case he used uh, an arduino to uh, control his switches and we're using the standard lego products we are using the same um, switch design uh, that he used and i'll explain later why that is now if you are into train automation make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and let's get into it so here we have the two uh, most important parts for this whole video i guess we have a little motor and we also have the lego switch track now for this to work you need to do something because um, the standard switch has a mechanism inside that makes it very hard to switch the track right you need to apply a lot of force in order to switch this track now you can see this one already does it a lot better and that's because we prepared this one for uh, what we need so if you take um, this track what you can do is you can take off this plate and i can try and show you right now now it's already loose now but you need a screwdriver to actually uh, get it out and then it's about this thing so this thing is the switching mechanism i guess you could call that and what we did was there is two little bumps on here which i removed with a with a knife and on this side as well which makes it a lot harder to switch the track as you can see here there's little um, like indents i think you call them right where the little bumps would uh, slide into and that would make the track switch a lot harder than uh, that we need so remove those put this one back in again so this little pin goes between the little metal wires over there so that it's connected right put this back in again make sure it works i guess it does let's see make sure it works he says yes it works and then put the uh, put the back plate back on like so this cannot be repaired so um yeah you're messing up your perfectly fine lego switch tracks just a disclaimer right if you don't want to automate stuff um or you only have like two switch tracks that you don't want to damage then don't do this and then what happens is that this works fine if you did the right thing right so this is no torque anymore this just runs freely and that's exactly what you want for this okay now the next thing is obviously how are we going to connect this motor to this so the video i talked about from almighty Aryan, i will link that one in the description of the video so that you can find it as well but what i did was and i messed up two not messed up but i mashed up two videos and i made a cross like this right just regular plates put that over here for the base and a, uh, a smooth plate over here so that the mechanism can slide over that then i made this so it's a lift arm one of these brackets and a plate below that and what you can do is put this black pin between the two pins of the of the switch track right so put that over here and then put it on the flat piece of that thing so look there. should be something like this right now what we need to do is have one of these over here right so 
uh, two plates, just a bunch of old Lego I didn't use anymore. Put that over here. And another one like so with the gear in there. Put that on the other side. A torque gear so that whenever it hits the, the end the wheel just slips and doesn't put more pressure on the on the system and then we have the motor with a small gear and i just put this in one uh this one in here as well so that we have some added strength put that over here and we're done so it looks something like this and obviously you can might make this nice right make a little shed around it or whatever what have you all these different types of buildings that you have next to your railway uh, layout so that makes it a little bit more nice but for the for the sake of the video i won't do that because you want to see this work now what do we need to do so we have another one of these that's what you need right so uh, put this one in uh, port a like so and that's all we have and then what I did was I prepared a little um, thingy on the iPad so that we can see what we're doing. Again, like a really short uh, explanation. You start the program. This is a motor block. It says uh, exit A on the, on the hub and um, run at minus 100 and then it stops. And the other one is run output A. Uh, speed at 100 and stop again so minus is uh, counterclockwise and the other one is clockwise right and then if we did that right then we can do the following let's see if i can put everything in one frame i think i can and then if you watch at the top of the screen there we go we've got a switch that is powered by a motor I guess that's pretty cool, is it not? Okay, we figured something out, right? We've got our trusted little train again. Let me just close it out one second. There you go, that's this one, right? We used that on the last ones as well. It's got the color sensor in there. We've got the switch track with the motor and we've got a little program. So what happens here is the following. A2, oh, sorry, engine two, Port number A, or letter A, runs at speed 42. We'll see if that works or not, but uh, that's what it does now. Whenever it hits a yellow patch on the line, engine 2 stops, as you can see here, and it waits 5 seconds. It throws the switch, switch motor stops again, train starts running again, until it hits yellow again and at the end it um, starts all over again so what does that look like i'll get the train over here uh, press play train is running right it hits yellow as you can see it stops for a second there goes switch track train starts running again yellow which goes the other way, train starts running again, yellow. And there we go. So we have something working. That's very cool. Stop. And let's put that into the, into a, a mock-up layout on the table, shall we? Very cool. Let's go. Okay, here we go. So we built this test loop around our big pile of tracks from the last video and here's the train with the the sidings the yellow um, on the tracks right the yellow patch and there is the hub with the motor and all that stuff ipad is ready train is ready i am ready let's go put it on play and let's see what happens train takes off it goes for a little ride around our tracks and then it comes back around the corner again. It's the switch. Now it waits for five seconds as we said. 
you can hear the switch go off train goes around again let's see I think we started on the wrong track but that's fine so it goes no it's right there we go so it went to the right one <laughs> man my preparations for these things right very good so yeah it switched sidings and now it should go back to the original again so let's see if that happens let's see let's see let's see there we go that's pretty cool isn't it so we use the lessons from last videos right with the color sensors the train motors and the colored patch on the tracks and we added another hub with an extra motor for the switch this is pretty cool i think you can connect up to four hubs to the uh to the ipad that means you would have two trains there's two hubs for instance and then you have another uh, two hubs for switches so you can control four switches in total if you're running two trains i think that's the that's what we could do well i say we could but i can't because i only have one of those motors i bought that one to automate the um lego crocodile or not automate motorize the lego crocodile that's what i did and that's the motor i use for that so uh, i will have to get more motors obviously this technique also works with the power functions i should say so that's the older system but you cannot control those with the ipad but you can motorize switches with the power functions so that you can control the switches from a distance right you've got the um the infrared things and that should work fine with the same technique so there you go i hope that um that you find this video helpful and let me know what you're planning to do with stuff like this or if you have anything running like this or if you want to see something that i didn't show yet so if you have any questions or remarks about the video let me know in the comments below cool i'm happy that this works there we go and the color yellow now works pretty good good to see nice Now, I found it a lot of fun to um, mess with these uh, things again, right? The iPad, the different motors, the train and all the tracks and all that stuff. I hope it was helpful for you as well. If you have any questions, please use the comment section below the video. Like my video if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel for future updates. And if you cannot wait for a new video to drop, there should be a video over here and over here that you can watch. And until that time, have a nice weekend and see you in the next one. Bye bye.